Chelsea, and this is my workshop. This is where you see a lot of the projects on Checking In With Chelsea happen. And you can also see I might have a small affinity for all things initials. And that's what we're gonna do on today's show. My friend Elizabeth bought a new house and she's ready to get it decorated. So we're gonna help her out by creating one with a fun craft element, moss. For this project, I'm gonna use a sheet of plywood, a jigsaw, 80 grit sandpaper, small clamps, multi-surface glue, a pencil, a letter template, some craft moss, and your choice of fun, colorful accents. All right, Elizabeth, the first step is to transfer our paper R onto the plywood so that we can cut it out. Okay. So what we're gonna do is this is, instead of having to cut out all the intricacies of the R and tracing that, this is a little technique that my sisters and I have used. Scribble on the back of it, everywhere it's printed, and then we'll turn it over and trace it and the pencil shavings marks will transfer onto the plywood. Okay. And we'll have our template to cut out. Awesome. So how did you get this R so big on this paper? I opened it in Acrobat Reader and used the printer settings. An option is poster. Okay. And it shows you how many pages it'll print it out on. This one's about 16 inches tall. This is awesome. I love a monogram. I know. Is that a southern thing? I don't know. It's very southern. Yeah. <laughs> we have monograms okay. everywhere. You can own it. The bigger the better. <laughs> so you haven't been married too long. Just under two years. Yeah. So it's still kind of a new... A new last name. Ruland. That even looks cool from the back side. <laughs> That's right. Even the trash looks cool in the workshop. Using a pencil to trace the outside edge of the R will force the lead from our paper onto the plywood, giving us an outline. Oh, we're making it so uneven. <laughs> You're gonna have to even it out, You're Chelsea, and work your magic. Out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go, awesome. Aww. All right, let's get the jigsaw out. This plywood has to be stable while using the saw, so we're securing it to our work table using these clamps. Have you used these before? I haven't. All right, you just pull the trigger. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna cut it out with our jigsaw. Okay. Have you ever used one before? I have not, show me. Well, this one is a lot better for precision cuts than say a circular saw. It can make the tight curves on the R that you could never do with a circular saw. Cool. Yeah, I'll try it. Okay, you can see how it works before you have to do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God, how many pieces of five would you drop right? I think if you corrected it, we're gonna cover it with moss so it doesn't have to look pretty. Hey, let's like cover it up. Yeah, That's perfect. So. Just think, now you'll have a funny story to tell. Yeah, and we can at least, we'll have it covered up so nobody will know. That's right. This is so funny. I can do the monogram machine. I can do the, uh, what's my cutter? The Cricket. silhouette, oh, yeah. yeah. And now I can do the wood. There you go. You're unstoppable. <laughs> With a monogram. Looks great, except for the spot that I messed up right here. <laughs> I think it'll be perfect. Next, we're ready for sanding. We're just gonna get rid of the rough edges and just lightly sand the face of it to give the glue something to stick to. Okay. Pretty good at sanding. Yeah, I can do this. <laughs> this moss can be found in almost any craft store and can be used for so many projects like birdhouses, flower pots, or picture frames. It's really versatile and worth keeping in your craft arsenal. This makes it easier than um, pulling it off the neighbor's tree. <laughs> Next, we place the R backwards onto the back side of the mat and cut around it, leaving enough excess for the moss to fold over the sides. All right, here's our glue. Okay. If you want to start putting it on the face of it. Great. 
And the reason we're using that instead of hot glue is it dries quick, but not as quick as hot glue, so we have a little bit of workability. But also, we're not gonna have those nasty strings to clean up. Oh yes, that's a mess. This quick and thick glue is also paintable, dries clear, and doesn't run when it's on vertical surfaces. Once we've covered the front of the R with glue, we flip it around and onto the mesh, then place the heavy object on it while it dries. After a few minutes, we're ready to glue the edges. We're doing this a little bit at a time so we can clamp the sides while the glue sets. We can use this piece and that triangle oh, spot right, right there. Okay. Fits perfectly. It's not possible to cut angles on the sides without eventually revealing some bare spots. One of the great things about this moss, though, is you can patch in the gaps and those seams disappear. I feel like after you get married, getting mo things monogrammed is more fun. Oh, like, yes. With like your new initials. Yes, you just throw out all the old initials and start fresh. <laughs> What do you think about adding a little accent to yeah, it? Yeah, that would be great. I've seen them with ribbons on them, so I got this, and then I didn't know if you wanted some other color. I don't know if it nearly needs the burlap, if it's not gonna be hung. I know, the only thing I thought of was to wrap it around. Yeah. That looks great. Chelsea, I think the burlap is a little too much. Okay. So we'll just do the flowers and just have a little color pop. I love this part. It's really all about creating something using your own style and personality. Sometimes it's nice to have some excess decoration because you don't always know if you'll love the way it looks until after you see it. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, Chelsea, I love it. I love it too. Let's go see what it looks like in your house. Okay. I told you I like some monograms. Yeah, perfect. Now we have one for inside. Chelsea, it looks great. It does look really good. It looks good here, but I think one would look good at my house too. What do you say we go make a W? Let's go. Awesome. I have so many ideas for upcoming projects. Follow along on Facebook so you don't miss out.